What's up everybody guys, welcome back to Miyamaru tutorial, it's continuation of this video. If you are interested in the scanning for the Gaussian splatting, I recommend you watch that. I already installed the Luma AI plugin, that's uh, mandatory, so if you, want, if you don't uh, install uh, the Luma AI plugin, if you go to the Notion link and then download the sample project and you uh, stored uh, plugins folder from the uh, sample, pro sample project and then place it to your plugins folder. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna use the new uh, PLI file. So I already uh, pasted the link in the description. So this one. And you need to extract the uh, folder. So, okay, let's start it up. So uh, I'm gonna uh, make the new label, basic. And I'm gonna save it. And this is TS Audio React Reactive. So, okay, so I'm gonna delete the Sky Atmosphere Skylight Volumetric Cloud and Floor Place the Player Start. And I'm gonna change, also, I don't need the directional light. And I'm gonna change the uh, Potential height mode 0.35, and also I need to enable the volumetric fog. So, first of all, I'm gonna drop the new uh, PLI file so you can download in the description. So, I'm gonna drag and drop here, and I'm gonna save the, all of them. So, now I'm gonna drag and drop to the this one, and I'm gonna change the location. To the zero zero zero. In the first of all, I'm gonna add the uh, point light, and I'm gonna uh, change the uh, location to the here, and also I'm gonna uh, change the light color to around this one, and I'm gonna change the intensity as well, like three, and also I'm gonna change the attenuation values. Uh, if I click on the F, so we can focus in the here. And also I need to skylight as well. And I'm gonna use the specific cube map. And I'm gonna select the same one as the last video. Same playbill cube. And the intensity is uh, 0 0.5. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna add the camera actor. And then also I'm gonna add the uh, camera layer. So I'm gonna change the uh, transform the uh, camera layer so around here. So 155, 595, 84. I'm gonna uh, attach the camera to the camera rig. I also want to change the uh, transform in the zero and here. And I'm gonna change the camera loop uh, rotation to minus 90. And then this is the camera actor. I'm gonna change it to minus 60, 48, uh, 24. And the rotation is 3. And I'm gonna change the focal length to 20. Okay. This is the audio reactive one, so now that means I need to uh, OSC receive, but I already make the OSC receive in the previous video. If you don't have the OSC receive, uh, you need to go back to the, uh, this video and then make the OSC receive, which is really uh, easy, so don't worry about it. And I'm gonna drop it, drop it here. So now uh, I'm gonna make the audio reactive cube. So I'm gonna have the new uh, blueprint and actor, and I'm gonna call it BP Audio Deep. And I'm gonna open up. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna add the cube, and I'm gonna change the uh, scale. And X is Y 1.5, and Y is uh, 0 0.1, and then the little is. And also, I want to change the uh, material, so I'm gonna use the, the material I made uh, 
the last video. So if you don't have a uh, material, so you need to uh, go back to the uh, last bit, uh, the previous video, and then to to make it. You know, like it's not uh, difficult, so it's easy. Okay, so I'm gonna use it. So uh, next, I'm gonna uh, make the variable. So first is BP OSC seed. So and the next is a super important. So I'm gonna the type is BP OSC seed. Okay, next one is uh, address, but this address is a scale address and type is string and I'm gonna duplicate this one and next one is rotate address. So if you click on the BP OSC we can get the event on OSC So uh so uh first of all I'm gonna select uh, I'm gonna add the sequence. So this is almost the same as the uh, with the previous video. So I'm gonna drag the scale address and then get the scale address. And I'm gonna uh, exactly <clears throat> and I'm gonna connect to the address and I'm gonna add the this dot and then I'm gonna add the branch and connect to here. The scale address same uh, with the uh, address of the OSC. So obviously I'm gonna change the scale of the cube. I'm gonna drop, drop the cube and I'm gonna set the set scale and I'm gonna add the set one scale speed. And I'm gonna split the struct P and then uh, I'm gonna get a value and I need to uh, change to the float and I'm gonna click on the, uh, this one. And then I'm gonna add the app node and I'm gonna uh, select, uh, I'm gonna type the 1.5. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna uh, hook it up here, hook it up here, and for y, the 0 0.1. So easy, right? So next, uh, for the rotation, I'm gonna copy and paste it here. But it's, I'm gonna use the rotation address and I get the rotation address. And then remove it here and then I need to connect the address here and also I need to connect to the another branch and I need to here and I need to connect uh, from the value to <coughs> to uh, change to the flow so also I'm gonna copy the cube and I'm gonna change the so I'm gonna the rotation at the local rotation and also I'm gonna split the struct and uh, uh, I want to just change the Y rotation so and I also make it like a random so I'm gonna to multiply and then I'm gonna to, no random yes in ledge and the minimum is minus n max it's 30 and I'm gonna uh, connect it here so I'm gonna connect to the only one yes that's it and I'm gonna compile it and save it and also it should be a public 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 and the scale address <clears throat> so the default value is low so rotate address like a tick snare <clears throat> And the compile, save it. And I'm gonna drag and drop the blueprint uh, in this scene. So, uh, location is around here. And I need, I want to change the um, rotation from the Z to here. So, I also want to change the uh, layer. So, if you click on that, and you, you can select handle. So if you change the handle, you can change it the handle wherever you want. And then also you can change the car as well. And I also change the here, like this one. Okay, sounds good. So, and then go back to the camera. And then I want 
to select the lookup truck uh, setting and I'm gonna uh, make it true and actor truck is um, I want this one BP audio reactive so uh, it always look at the BP cube so if you change this one ooh, that's cool so uh, now uh, I need to open the level blueprint uh, only this window and then I'm gonna draw a camera layout and this is gonna come after <coughs> and compile it and I'm gonna move it back and then I'm gonna uh, get player uh, controller and then I'm gonna add the set uh, view target with black and I'm gonna connect the cine camera after to new view, view port target no new view target and I'm gonna connect the begin play also I want to change the layout so uh, I'm gonna uh, get set car car and position on layout so uh, I'm gonna add a new variable with I call it time and this is float and I'm gonna get time and add and I'm gonna add the delta second and I'm gonna set the time to here and set connected and then from here uh, I'm gonna multiply and uh, this is 0 0.1 and I'm gonna use the sine radian and also I'm gonna use the absolute and I'm gonna connect it here and also I'm gonna connect it here so uh, this is changed to the 0 to 1 1 to 0 stuff like that and if you want to change the speed you can if you change the if you want to change the speed you need to uh change the this one this value i'm gonna copy and paste no copy no, compile save it so let's click on that hmm. now we can get the osc because i already uh make the osc in the uh osc sending system in touch designer so if you go to the BPOD reactive cube, I need to select the OSC with C. So now save it and do, mm, it doesn't change. Okay, because we, I didn't connect to the, this one. So stupid. Okay, compile, save it, go. Yes. Wow, cool. So cool. Wow, so cool, right? That's so cool. So uh, next video. Uh, we are going horror scene. I also share the PLI file as well. So let's see the next video.